Hi, I'm Sid Probstein, Chief Technology Officer at Ativio. I'm here to tell you about our product, the Active Intelligence Engine, the world's first unified information access platform for solution developers. Let me start by drawing a circle. This circle represents the Active Intelligence Engine. The reason we represent it as a sphere is because it has one API. Unlike many legacy enterprise search engines, which have evolved over time, composed of many different pieces and parts that have different and incompatible APIs, AIE was designed holistically to solve unified information access problems in the enterprise. So any request, let's say you write a piece of client software, you would send a request to AIE. It's going to go through layers of the sphere. And this one request, by the way, could be a document, or it could be a query, or it could be a document which is intended as a query. There's really no difference. It's information intended for use by the engine. Now, in terms of the layers that this request will go through, the outermost layer is the security layer. It verifies that this client has the right to send that information, that it's provided all the information it needs, for example, uh, a user ID or group ID, so that some kind of security can be applied. The next layer is the connectivity layer. Now, connectivity is essential to being able to bring information to the engine. Now, that data can be structured data. For example, we could be using a database connector to pull data from a relational database. And this database can have a bunch of tables in it. So we can pull that data in. We can also uh, pull data from unstructured information sources, such as a content management system. We can pull that data in, again, through this layer. The next layer is the workflow layer. Now, workflow is interesting in that it, it gives us all of the pieces to process this request. So, for example, we give you about 30 or 40 different components out of the box. And those are organized into about a dozen workflows, right? A workflow is a sequence of components that act on one of these requests. So the workflow layer is very it's pervasive in the system. Any request can have a workflow associated with it. In fact, you can implement significant differences in business logic simply by providing a slightly different workflow. Then at the core is the universal index. The universal index is really our core IP. It's, it's what makes us unique. It's a hybrid index, like a search engine index, that gives you the performance and flexibility of a search engine, but the capabilities of a database with respect to understanding structured data, being able to use relationships in structured data, and also in the ability to update very, very rapidly and, and overall operate in real time. AIE gives you the power of search and the power of the database, the strengths of both, the limitations of neither. Now, once this request has gone through these particular layers, it will return to the client with some information. And there you'll have a very, you can provide any kind of interface you want on that, a traditional search type interface, with results or more of a BI type interface, perhaps consisting of various different graphs and pie charts. All that structured information could be represented in a very traditional way. It could be in the form of reports, or it could be some combination of these things, a search interface that has charting and trending and, and that sort of aggregate analysis that, of course, the BI side of the world is very famous for. So you have lots of flexibility, and that's, what the, that's the great thing about a unified information application, is that it can deal with all of the content and provide all kinds of interesting insight for the end user, understanding how the data is changing over time, or the content is changing over time, and most importantly, correlating what people say with what they do, right? What's happening in text with what happens in transactions. So that's, that's the essence of the active intelligence engine from the client perspective, but let's talk a little bit now about the features. People often ask me, what does active intelligence engines really, really mean? Well, the engine, of course, is the idea that this is a piece of software. You can deploy it in your enterprise. Uh, you can run it on a laptop. You can run it in a set of servers. You can run it on a huge server farm. It scales up. It scales down. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. But the key point here is intelligent. Intelligence is about being able to work across both sets of data. And there, we have a query-side join operator. And what join does is it lets us pull these tables directly into the index without first running a query against the database. And then we can select which of the relationships we'd like to use as part of a query, along with a, perhaps a keyword query. So I can say find customers who have purchased a particular product and who said it was a great product. 
which is a very, very challenging uh, type of, of query to run if you're stuck in the, business, in the world of only structured data, business intelligence, or if you're in the unstructured world of just enterprise search. Unified Information Access lets you make those discoveries between content. Now, another key point, we have the um, ability to actually let you use the SQL, Structured Query Language, uh, as, as well as our own language, and, and use the join operator in a much more traditional database-centric kind of way. Then that brings me to active. So what's the active part? And that's the ability to save a query, any query that's interesting, and then tie it to a workflow. So let's say we write a valuable query, which identifies excellent uh, prospects for a new product we're going to bring to market. We can, rather than running that every month, printing out a list and taking that to marketing, we can save that query as an alert, and thereafter, workflow can drive that back out, perhaps to a CRM system, so that reps will be able to pick up the phone and make calls to those interesting customers. Finally, this system, and this, I think the sphere represents this, is designed to be agile. With the Active Intelligence Engine, a single Java developer can do in days or, or weeks what others can do in months or years. Schema agnostic operation, the ability not to worry about having to predefine all the different fields that will be available, just being able to pull in tables, content, and work with it, that eliminates a lot of the effort in building applications. Additionally, the system is designed to work in all kinds of environments. The core engine is less than 20 megabytes in size. It's 100% pure Java, and it will run anywhere where a JVM 1.6 is available. Of course, we do certify on a standard set of operating systems and platforms. So another part of Agile is being able to work in small environments, scaling down, and indeed, the Active Intelligence Engine does that. You can run it on a laptop. You can run it on a server. One key, though, is like, like all good search technology, the system is designed to be stateless and fully distributable across a multi-node system. So no matter how big the problem gets, no matter how much data you're dealing with, billions and billions of records, you can always break it down and distribute it across an arbitrary number of servers to achieve whatever particular performance characteristics you're trying to. So you can scale this out to massive, massive numbers. Among other things, we've done good querying against an index of 100 million records on a single commodity server. We've actually built an index of a billion records on a large server, uh, not so much for uh, use in typical everyday activities, but for, for archiving, it's a very reasonable kind of approach. And you can build the system out additionally, not just to scale for performance, but you can also scale for high availability or fault tolerance, meaning a system that never goes down because there's always another node ready to take its place. Thanks very much for joining for this brief overview of the Active Intelligence Engine. I hope you found it interesting and informative. Thank you.